Hey everybody, my name is Gideon Moore. Welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, boys. Now, obviously, in the last video, we finished off the season or the second year, basically, as GM. And uh, a lot of things happen. WWF is now available for buyouts. So Vince McMahon, we went ahead and went into a uh, company right here, Jobs Companies. We went ahead and offered to buy them out. Because we can do it. We could do it. This was an option. So I offered to buy them out. We're going to have an answer from Vince McMahon in the next month. See if he accepts. Hopefully he does accept. If he accepts, that means we are basically... Uh, we're basically going to annex his, co his company. And we're going to take some of his wrestlers and some of his titles. Uh, whatever we want uh, out of him. We uh, can get it for ourselves. And stuff like that. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to really be fantastic. And we can rebrand ourselves? What does that even mean? What the, does rebranding mean? So you can rename your uh, entire company, boys. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that was a thing. That must be one of the new things as well. We'll lower it over in the slightly. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, I'm going to do that once uh, WWF gets bought out. I'm going to rebrand my company. Uh, because I'm obviously going to become the biggest company uh, big time. So I'm going to rebrand it afterwards. But right now, I'm not going to do it. What do we want right there to do? We got a brand new wrestler in Medusa. We're still working on... Uh, we're, I'm reworking on the charisma of Matt Hardy. He really needs to work on it. I don't know why, but he's really bad with this charisma and everything. Uh, tra tables and LMS match are going up for Guilty as Charge. So what we're going to do, we're just going to hop on in and start it up right away, boys. We're going to have a bit more fun right here. We're in the brand new year and it's one of the big pay-per-views as well. It's one of those. So every single match needs to have a stipulation, special stipulations to it. So uh, we're, it's just a matter of uh, what do we want to do right here exactly. So this is going to be a singles match, it looks like, between Sting and Rob Van Dam or actually not because uh, the, the the main title needs to be the championship right here the main event needs to be the championship right here so it's going to be sting versus rick flair robin ham is going to have to sit uh, sit this one down and uh this these guys are just starting their feud up for injury revenge right yeah so let's just start this feud up uh, we're going to do that and we're going to add a gimmick match obviously already we can tell last time it was i think it was on sanction match last time well uh we can't do street fight that's slow as uh, it's gonna lower it down okay so let's just do a tables match i guess for this first match afterwards it's gonna be i guess uh el generico there we go el generico uh is he gonna have a multi-man match he is not so it's just a regular match he doesn't have any feud going on so I think what we're going to do is just, uh, we're going to create a feud, I guess. So uh, he's a neutral, so we can put a face and a heel in there. Is she a baby face or anything? Oh, she's, she's a face right now. I'm probably going to need to put her as a neutral. Now that I think about it, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to put uh, Medusa as a neutral right, uh, right away, boys. Uh, now that I think about it. So change alignment. Put her as a neutral. There we go. Perfect. And now we can go to booking and we can go back here and do our thing. So El Generico, let's put him against a, a one of them. A whoever is the, the most popular, I guess, right now. I feel like it's uh, Trish or Jeff Hardy that's the most popular. Considering the fact that uh, Jeff Hardy was the previous uh, champ or whatever. Might go for him. But the problem is I can't... Uh, Jeff Hardy is already in the feud with uh, Mickey James, so we gotta finish that one up. So I think Trish is already in the feud as well. Get, it's only Gail Kim as an option because Gail Kim is the only one that doesn't have a feud going on. So let's just add a feud right here between these two in the superstar. There we go. Next up, it's gonna be Lita. So Lita, do we uh, actually? Uh, Lita, do we actually do a, a special match? Yes, it's a multi-man match. So. Last time it was a six way, so now we're resulting back to a triple threat. So it's just going to be Lita versus uh, Trish Stratus, of course, is their main feud going on. And we can bring up uh, Mickey James. I think we 
cool. Or she's already in a feud with uh, Jeff. Yeah. So we're just going to bring up uh, someone else. Do we have another wrestler, woman wrestler? No. Aside from Mickey James, it's just uh, Medusa. So we're just going to bring that up. There's a go. It's going to be a triple threat between these two. And we're going to just add a gimmick match. It can't be an elimination match. That wouldn't make sense uh, because it's a singles match. So we're just going to do... We're gonna do false count, and we're gonna do a uh, uh, elimination match between these uh, these girls. There we go. That's perfect. Sounds good to me. Next up, uh, it's just gonna be randomness. I am gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna make that feud up uh, going up. So yeah, it's gonna be a singles match, I guess. I'm gonna put it right here. We're gonna blow off that feud, and uh, it's gonna be a gimmick match, obviously. So uh, it's it can't be a TLC. So it's just gonna have to be an Iron Man match. There we go. And the uh, next up is just going to be uh, randomness. So AI is going to decide for us, boys, what are the matches right here. So AI decided to put uh, these types of matches as, uh, as a thing. Um, they already decided to put it as a steel cage match. Uh, this one. So that's fine by me, I guess. And uh, this one, we're going to remove the feud, but uh, we're going to uh, add a gimmick match. We already had the Iron Man match going. We're just going to do Steel Cell. Let's go to Multi-Man. There we go. And we're just going to get everybody else to fight against each other. So we're going to get that right here. Matt R.D., Chris Benoit, Jake Roberts, and Steamboat. They're getting the first match. And we're going to add a gimmick. It was a, a Steel Cell, right? Yeah. So it's going to be a ladder match. Unless I can't. No, it's got to be held for a title. So I can't do that. Steel Cage is already in it so it's just gonna be a submission submission match all right so we got every single match done right here that's perfect let's do a segment really quick let's do um i guess main event where is it at there we go main event segment just gonna do right here and uh, for the sake of everything else do we have a yeah we have new feuds going on so end of the rain we're gonna do trish stratus versus dita or a Rifter versus Sting. Whoever needs the most. I think Lita versus Trish needs the most uh, right now. So we're just going to add that feud up big time. So Lita versus Trish. I can't do another one, right? Oh, we can now. We can actually add multiple few, uh, packages, boys. So we can have more than two packages. If I had known that before. Damn. Man, I should have known that before then. All right, so add that feud up. Yeah, we're going to upgrade these feuds up then. I didn't know. We can only do that for once though. But uh, yeah, add these feuds up big time. Sure, why not? Let's definitely do that. And uh, next thing, I guess we can do the debut thing as well now then. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now we can do a lot of stuff that uh, I actually wanted to do. So debut of Medusa. Three segments at monthly events. Okay. Okay, so now it's the three segments. Before it was two segments, the maximum. Now it's three segments. Okay, well, that's fine by me. We're going to up these two feuds up and the main event package. All right, that's fine by me, boys. That looks just fine. Let's uh, start it up. Guilty as charged. First uh, pay-per-view of the month. Let's hop on in. There we go. Let's just hop on in uh, right away. 60 of hype just for the fatal foray right here. It's going to be great. Um, whoever want, I want to win right here. So uh, just like the usual, I'm taking the one that's, uh, that needs the most wins right now. It looks like it's going to be Matt Hardy. He needs the most wins, amount of wins right now. Definitely. So just going to get Matt Hardy to win right here. Full of action, five-star match. Submission match effect increased, uh, was increased, I guess. That's really good. So a really big boost for Matt Hardy right there. And uh, definitely a big boost because... I mean, he de just defeated uh, people that are all main eventers. And he's like uh, a lower make card. Or, so that's definitely huge for him. Oh, over here, Mr. Perfect versus Re uh, Eddie Guerrero. Once again, Eddie uh, got two losses in a row right here. So he's going to need that W. So he's going to get that W. Four and a half star boys for uh, Eddie right here. So uh, there it is. He's getting a W, so that's a, a, a really good, uh, pretty decent match. Feud package, 85%. End of the reign, let's, uh, this is going to be a simulation, of course. Let's see if Lita is actually going to 
retain her title she's been champion for eight months straight boys actually she is gonna lose our title yeah she is losing our title because Metusa is the one I'm pushing so Lita is gonna after eight months as champ is finally gonna re uh, uh, lose her title and it's gonna be to the newbie uh, the new girl Medusa Medusa gets the championship boys ends the reign of Lita and that's uh, good for a five-star match uh, congrats to Medusa and Trish Rogers got injured uh, for that match so Trish is now injured uh, I guess uh, I hope she's not injured for too long I'm just happy she's not the champ because I would have had to uh, vacate her title and stuff so that's a really good match a steel cage match between these two who needs to win the most they're both uh, equal amount uh, for the, the thing so I guess I'm just gonna do uh, randomness for this one can we have something right here no nah, not finish and not any finish or anything I'll give it to the most popular guy. I'll give the win to uh, to Stone Cold right here, boys. Just give the win to Stone Cold. Another five-star match. I'm not getting these big-time matches, but five stars across the boards are, is still really good, boys. So it's still perfect match and stuff. It, it really helps out that most of my wrestlers are three-star three, uh, three -star work rates, so they can really put out those big-time uh, pay-per-view matches. Uh, in the World Table Championship match now, Gener El Generico still undefeated, by the way, of course, versus Gail Kim defending his title for the first time, I believe. Uh, let's see if he's going to retain it. Uh, the feud is starting, so we can do screw job finish. Let's see if he retains. He does retain, so screw job finish retains the title uh, versus Gail Kim, and um, another five star match. Another five-star match, boys. Solid across the board right here. Just solid across the board. That's my title. So um, let's see what we got. So we got the feud right here. I think it's a blow-off. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see who we want to, to win right here. Oh, I think uh, Jeff Hardy needs to win that one. Yeah, Jeff Hardy needs to win that one. So we're going to give him the win. We can add a finish. Respectful end. Pass out. Well, in order to pass out uh, is, yeah, we can do that. Is he natural? He's not a natural and Mickey, not a natural either. So we can pa do the pass out finish. Let's do the pass out finish, boys. Jeff, uh, Jeff already wins. Well, I, I'm going to do the pass out finish anyways then. Mickey James win, pass out finish, boys. It's good for, it's good enough for a six and a half uh, uh, star match. Really good. And the blow off of was fantastic as well for that. So Mickey James is now a heel. And Jeff Hardy is going to be a face, boys. They switch around, uh, basically. So that's fantastic. Uh, so we got uh, that going for us. Main event package. So uh, that's going to 90% feud package. 100% already held for that one. Okay, so that was already held. Interesting. I didn't think it was. But I guess it was, boys. So that's fine, I guess. Injury uh, revenge. Oh, is it because of the feud package itself? Oh, you're talking about the fact that it was already held for Lita versus Trish. I got you, game. I got you. Okay. Uh, so he, the, the main event itself, the heavyweight championship, Ric Flair defends his title against a multi-time uh, multi uh, champion, uh, Ric Flair, uh, or Sting. Uh, we can't do the screw job finish. It was already held. So let's just see if uh, Ric Flair retains. He does retain the title. Uh, it, it's good for the la the worst match of the the show actually, for uh, not if below just above below five star. That's fine though. It's still a pretty good match, and both of them went up in um, popularity and morale and everything. So that's that's good. That's fine by me. So uh, there we go, boys, and that's good for another five star pay per view. Just like that, another great pay per view, just like that, boy. So, just happy uh, to see uh, all that across the board. We gained a lot of fans once again. The Royal Rumble was a disaster for them, and uh, yeah, it's just better off, boys. X Pac still with the fans, okay. Brock is not ready to return. All right, let's see. Is Vince gonna accept our offer, boys? Wrestler Court. Oh, what is happening? What what just happened at wrestlers court? With Matt Hardy accusing Miss Elizabeth of complaining about her position in the company. Miss Elizabeth complains 
Bobby Eaton, Paul Eamon, and Ricky Steamboat were the judges, and after a, a lengthy sessions of uh, pleading cases, Miss Elizabeth was found guilty and sentenced to pay the huge bar tab. Due to the embarrassment of being found guilty, Miss Elizabeth isn't too happy. Oh, Miss Elizabeth, boys. She's found guilty. Buyout accepted. Boom. WWF have accepted the buyout offer we made. The details should be finalized ne next month. So next month, we'll be able to choose to do the actual buyout itself. Choose the wrestlers, get it all for ourselves and everything. So next month, WWF is going to be no more, boys. We officially annex them. Buyout assets. We are on our way to the buyout. Once the deal goes through, I will allow you to sign a maximum of 12 superstars. So we can sign maximum 12 superstars of them. And make sure to um, to uh, to think hard about who you think to be being on board, of course. you. I will also be allowed to have three of their championships. I'm only going to take one of them, though. Uh, buyout signings. I heard you will decide. Uh, so, uh, this, okay, Holmes. Uh, which superstar is assigned with the uh, uh, championship? I heard you will decide who uh, gets to sign with you. I wanted to let you know that I will send a small number of them to the training roster. Looking forward to working with them. Okay, got you. Uh, thanks, but no. So Brock Lesnar already is telling me that he's not going to sign with me no matter what. I uh, promised myself I would not jump ship and I'm not going to do it even after the buyout. Not surprising from uh, Brock Lesnar's side right here. Trish Rogers is injured for five months. That's a big yikes. But uh, Brock Lesnar, yeah. So Brock Lesnar is not surprising from his side. Uh, he completely refuses to go with anybody else. He's probably going to go to UFC or something, boys. <laughs> not surprising at all. All right, so we got that going for us. Miss Elizabeth is... Well, it's still, she's still happy. I mean, she's still fine. So don't need to change anything. Is she... What is she... I need to change my managers to neutral, actually. So that's what I just did for uh, Elizabeth. What about, uh, yeah, Polyman's already a neutral. Bobby Eaton? He's a natural heel, though. So he's got to stay a natural heel. Uh, that's fine by me, but um, if he's a natural heel, he's got to be able to manage somebody that uh, is a heel as well. Is he managing a heel? I think so, right? I think he's managing a heel. Uh, I, I got to make sure that is the case. Jake Roberts? Are you a heel, buddy? He's a heel. Yeah, all right. So it's working out for these two. It's it's fine. So it's uh, it's just fine for these two. Uh, Medusa, everything. Uh, everybody's turning up. So she's been managing the same person for a while now. One thing I did notice, though, is uh, one, when I was looking at Lita, she's got a great work rate uh, ratio, but Charisma is a one star. She, she's at two star right now. Which is helping her out, but if I want her to be a manager, she needs to be better than this. Two, one star is definitely not enough, boys. It's garbage. So I definitely need to upgrade her. I'm I'm focusing too hard on Matt Hardy because Matt Hardy doesn't have a good um, charisma either, right? She he's got one star. Pretty sure he's gonna have two star once I'm finished with him, but still, you know, it's it's pretty rough right there boys we gotta be uh we gotta be taking mind that keep in mind that uh the leader needs to be upgraded in terms of uh, as a manager she's doing managing stuff so she needs to be upgraded in terms of charisma big time all right so next thing we're gonna have a t uh, i'm looking at my dices right here so rick flair uh it's the heavyweight championship map of course so he's against sting uh of course right now so rick flair versus sting uh oh, hold on just just do Ric Flair versus Sting right there. And it's a multi-man match. Last time was a triple threat. So we can do a Rob Van Dam to fish, finish it off. So we're going to blow off the Rob Van Dam feud, of course. So the top talent feud, we're blowing it off. And uh, we're just going to need one more guy in there. One more guy in there. I think uh, they want Jake Roberts. They're saying Jake Roberts would be a great option. So let's just bring him in. Bring him in. Top talent blow off. There we go, just like that. And it's going to have a special stipulation. It was a submission match last time, so just tables match again. Uh, there we go. Next up, the uh, World Television Championship versus Gail Kim. There we go. And is it going to be a multi-man match? It's not. It's just going to be a regular match, but there's uh, a gimmick to it. So uh, street fight, there we go. And last but not least, Medusa 
Is she going to defend her title in a multi-man match? Yes, she is. Uh, versus uh, Mickey James and Lita. I don't think I... Yeah, Trish is injured. So that would normally count for uh, a fatal four-way. Uh, or fatal five-way uh, right now. So that counts as a fatal five-way in my head. So triple threat right there. And there's no gimmick to uh, matches to this one though. Uh, last but not least, the other ones, just quality matches, auto booking, singles matches. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to move the feud, remove the feud for this one as well. We're just going to do this like that. All right, good. And uh, you are going to remove that. And uh, I guess multi-man match. There we go. Triple threat between these three guys. That's how it's going to work. That seems fine by me. You're all going to get special gimmick matches. So you're getting elimination match. You're getting, um, I guess, what, do you, what are you getting? You're getting a false count. There we go. And you are getting a TLC. I can't get a TLC going. So still, okay, it still sells. All right, we're good. We're good to go. Now that I know exactly what to do, though, uh, I'm going to do the main event package as, as, as usual. Let's do the main event package. Do we have a brand new feud going on? We do. So let's just do a feud package for uh, Gelkin versus Generico. Uh, that we put it right here. And now we can uh, do something else. So we can do a promo or something like that, boys. I don't see any video. We could do a video package or whatever uh, for one participant, like iPop uh, a participant or something like that. But don't think it's really worth it. I could, I mean, I could hype up uh, Medusa as much as possible. Recap, maybe. Uh, recap would up the popularity of the actual show, right? Or an event or something like that. But, you know, I'm actually just going to do... I'm going to do a manager promo. Why not? Seems like a fun idea, boys. Let's just do a manager promo right here. And for that, we need to choose somebody in particular. So we need to choose one of our managers. Uh, who do we want to, to get over right now? Paul Eamon is really over with the fans. Is he in there? Not really. I think we know... I think uh, Bobby Heenan should be the one to uh, to get the promo. Uh, yeah, he should be the one to get the promo. Uh, big time. There you go. Manager promo. Uh, just like that. We're going to get a promo going uh, for the manager right here. Right before the match. All right. And he's just going to hype up Jake Roberts. He's going to hype him up. Just so he gets a little bit of boosts and stuff like that. That sounds fine by me, boys. Hype it up, boys. So Cyber Slam is up to a notch. Let's see what we got. We can already see the hair showing off of his mask. Sami Zayn getting his hair uh, done and stuff like that. Uh, getting, uh, letting his hair grow and all, and all. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go inside, boys. First match of the pay-per-view triple threat still sell. We got Matt Hardy, Chris Benoit versus uh, and Jeff Hardy up against each other. We uh, what do we got right here? Who's the least over? The least over is Matt Hardy right now. The uh, who has the least amount of popularity? It's Matt Hardy. I think he needs the the win, boys. He needs to win the most. I'm just gonna end up simulating every time. Actually, I think it's for the best, boys. Just simulate every time. So let's just simulate who wins. Chris Benoit wins. Yeah, I'm just going to let the AI decide who wins. It's better off like that. And it creates better ma good matches anyways. All my wrestlers are good wrestlers. So Chris Benoit gets a, a well-deserved win right there. It's good for the, for everyone. Everyone goes up from that. So that's, that's fantastic. What about uh, the Women's Championship match? Medusa defending our title, right? Versus Mickey James and Lita. Medusa retains automatically because she's being uh, pushed. A uh, huge boost for everyone. A boost for everyone, boys. So that's, uh, that's, that's just great. That's really good. And Medusa is just going to get over in no time, boys. In no time whatsoever. Uh, next match, false count anywhere match between Ricky Steamboat and uh, Stone Cold. I'll give the win to the, uh, the one that's the most over right now. It's just that simple. Uh, Stone Cold is super over right now. We'll just give the, give him the win. There we go. Work with uh, the crowd. Ricky Steamboat, something happened to him right there. Or is it normal? I think it's just normal. Work with the crowd. Six, uh, almost a seven star match, boy. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. No, never mind. Almost a six star match. Almost a six star match. 
Uh, so that's really good one. I'm going to give the win to the one that's the most popular uh, when it comes down to that because uh, that's just how it works, I guess. Feud package. There we go. We got 100% effectiveness for the feud package between these two. Uh, that's fine. Hell Generico still undefended. 4 0. Do you want to. So it's just going to be a simulation. We already did screw job finish for these two. So let's just simulate it. And uh, El Generico retains once again. Bloody match right here. A blood match. Five and a half star match. Gail Kim bleeds. Helped out both of them in this match right here. Definitely helped them, uh, help them out both. So that's really good. Next match. Elimination match for some reason in a singles match. It's fine by me. Uh, whoever wins uh, needs to win right there. I think Mr. Perfect, man. He needs to win. But Eddie is super popular as well. You know, I like these two. I like both of them. No matter who wins right here, it's a win-win situation. I think they're both of them work rate uh, 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 wise. They're both equally good. So I'm just going to simulate. Let the game decide. Kurt Enning gets the win. There we go. So Mr. Perfect gets the win. It's actually four and a half star. So it's a decent match. But uh, when you say that it's disappointing just because it's a four and a half, you know how much high up the other matches are usually, right, of your pay-per-view. So a uh, manager promo. Didn't go so well. It went, it went all right for the overness of Jake Roberts. But, you know, it could have been better. All right. So, uh, heavyweight championship. Let's see what we got. So, we're obviously going to simulate this. Ric Flair defending his title. He's been champion for two months now. Uh, Jake Roberts has been hyped up big time. He's now 100% overness. So, that might help him out for this match. I don't know. But uh, let's just see where this leaves us at. We got a brand new champ. It's not Jake Roberts, but it's Rob Van Dam. So Rob Van Dam becomes the champion once more. Another four and a half star match. All right, all right. That's fun by me. But uh, de definitely an interesting one. So Rob Van Dam def becomes a champ once again. And uh, that's pretty much it right there. So he gets the win. Uh, solid pay-per-view overall. Let's see the event. Five star pay-per-view once again. Another perfect pay-per-view, boys. Yep. Event prestige in increased as well, so that's good. Everything's going fantastic for us, boys. I mean, we're having such uh, such good pay-per-views every single time that it's just too easy. It's just too easy at this point. So we got No Way Out. We got Cyber Slam. So Cyber Slam is done. 157k more fans. WWC, WWF for the last pay-per-view that they held. No way out was a complete disaster as the usual part. And uh, let's just go ahead and do our thing. So now we're going to go up on in. And it's time for the whole buyout situation. So it's time to choose who we take uh, from their roster into our own. And what type of um, championship we take for uh, ourselves as well. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm definitely taking Roddy Piper, boys. Uh, definitely taking him. I mean, he's super popular. He doesn't have any appearances left. But I think what I can do, he's not retired or anything. So I think what I can do is simply just re-sign him. I can re-sign him. If he's good enough. If he's a bad wrestler, I'm just going to go ahead and give him, uh, uh, get him as a manager or something like that. Uh, definitely getting Goldberg for sure. Brock Lesnar told me he wouldn't uh, want to come with me, but... Uh, He's not, he's available. He's actually available. So I'm going to get him. Don't know why it is said otherwise. Uh, Chris Jericho is uh, the hardcore champ, but he's not available to sign. So these guys are not available to sign uh, right here. So I can't get Chris Jericho, unfortunately. Can't get Mike Sanders. I don't care too much. Uh, Kurt Angle, definitely getting him, boys. I can get up to 12 superstars. So remember that. Uh, Larry Zabisco, not, don't care. CM Punk, definitely getting him. Uh, Keji Muro, Hedge, I'm definitely going to get him. Ted DiBiase, can't get him. Terry Funk would be a great wrestler. I'm not sure just yet. Just looking around, boys, if there's anybody interesting. Big Bossman, probably a bad wrestler, so I don't, I'm not sure about that. Sean Stasiak, Roadkill. Yeah, there's not a lot of wrestlers available too much right here. I'm going to get X-Pac for sure. And uh, Justin Credible, I think, is a really good wrestler. 
And uh, how much? I've got four more wrestlers I can take. Terry Funk, I'm going to take him because I know he's a good wrestler. Keji Mudo, I'm going to take him as well. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. The rest, I'm not going to take. I'm not going to take the rest. Uh, for, for here, let's uh, take... They have the Women's Championship right here. WWF Women's Champion. I already have my Women's Championships. So I don't care about that one. Let's just take the uh, the World W uh, the the main eventer one. Let's take the, the the World Championship, boys. That's all I care about. I just want to take their World Championship, and we're all gonna send them to the main roster. Obviously, I want to send them all to the main roster. Boom, just like that. Buyout confirmed. We got a lot of people, much better. This company already seems much better. I think it'd be useful to fit here. There we go. Artifact reuse, gold for this year. There we go. We got a lot of stuff going on. Part-timers, potential contract, uh, train, uh, trade loss. All right, so what do we got? Comedy Chops uh, was lost by Jake Roberts, so he's not even funny anymore. Okay, contract changes. Following Superstar has become part-timer, so per, uh, Mr. Perfect is a part-timer now. We are going to change that up. So let's just go ahead and change the things up a little bit. Resign. We're going to resign everybody up right here. Everybody that's uh, part-timer, they uh, we don't have uh, we don't have time for that. We want them to wrestle all the time, boys. So Keji Mudo, of course, got a lot of part-timers in here. Roddy Piper, there we go. If you want to retire, you retire, but uh, you. Uh, if you don't retire, you stay with me for good. And uh, I think that's good. Ring return? No, I don't have anybody. Okay, let's go to our roster. We're going to take a look at the, the entire roster we got right now. Brand new wrestlers. Goldberg, uh, how's he good? So, one star work rate. So, he's not a good work. He's a dull worker as well. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's going to be bad. Uh, so, he's a bad worker. So I didn't know what to expect out of these guys. So um, yeah, Goldberg's uh, is super popular, but he's a bad wrestler. Yeah, I, I don't know about that one, boys. I don't know about that one. We're gonna we're gonna give him a chance. I'll, I'll give him a chance, boys. But I just don't want to give him too much chances either. If you know what I mean. So we got the world championship uh, match right here, the heavyweight uh, uh, title as well. Available to us. We're gonna introduce a new champ to it uh, to us. It's gonna be a main eventer Of course, we got so many main eventers now that it, uh, it's perfect for us to have two heavyweight championship matches Oh, uh, there's another thing I wanted to do right as well. I wanted to rebrand my uh, My uh, company, right? So rebrand it all together. We're gonna rename it get a brand new name uh, we are going to uh, get ourselves the name of World Extreme Championship, boys. World Extreme Championship. Uh, that's going to be our brand new name. So World Extreme Championship. Boom. So brand new name for the company right here under Paul Amen. World Extreme Championship. And uh, just like that, we rebrand ourselves, boys. And it's gonna be perfect like that. So we're now only four companies. Uh, usually there's some companies that pop pop, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or anything. Let's just uh, wait it out, I guess. March, oh, also, I did forget about something. So here to stay, yeah, whatever. I forgot about something. Indies, before we end it up, boys, because next month is the month of April, right? So we need a new wrestler. Although we got a bunch of new wrestlers from that uh, buyout, it doesn't count in my mind. We need an actual new wrestler. And we're just going to get another girl because we got plenty of actual wrestlers. But women wrestlers themselves, we didn't get any. So we're just going to get another girl, boys. We need uh, as many of them as possible. We got an available like Sable right here. She's a dull worker. Not going to get her. Brock Lesnar's wife uh, as well. So ba Beth Phoenix is really good. I'm going to get Beth Phoenix, boys. So let's get Beth Phoenix in here. There we go. She's going to be here. So she's going to be the new wrestler for the next uh, next month, boys. That's how it's going to work. So we're going to end it right here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.